NASA is nearing the end of the fine-tuning of James Webb Telescope, as calibrations are expected to wrap up pretty soon. European Space Agency has received more than 1,000 proposals from all over the world about the James Webb's first mission in the universe. But the mighty telescope is on its first top-secret mission no one knows about. So if the telescope's first mission is successful, the giant telescope will completely change our understanding of the universe. But what is this first secret mission? Let's find out. Welcome to Mystery Hub, where we unravel the deepest and darkest mysteries of the world for you. In today's video, we are going to talk about the secret mission of James Webb Telescope and what it might reveal about the universe. So if you want to know more about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. NASA's James Webb Telescope is the successor to the world-famous Hubble Space Telescope, which was launched in the year 1990. NASA has managed to make big discoveries through the Hubble Space Telescope, and now the James Webb Space Telescope will make a historic discovery in the world of the universe. According to scientists, in the first year of its scientific operations, James Webb Space Telescope will study small galaxies orbiting the Milky Way, look for the oldest stars in the universe, or peer inside mysterious remnants of an exploded star. Its very first science targets, however, remain top secret. The mighty James Webb Space Telescope recently aligned its mirrors and showed off the sharpness of its eyes on a random underwhelming star. But the world's science geeks are still holding their breath for the first proper scientific images, the objects of which will be kept under wraps until the images release, likely in July. NASA has been teasing those images throughout the launch and commissioning campaign but project personnel are staying strictly mum about their targets. Yes, the targets have been chosen for the super-secret first images that will be released. Jane Rigby, the James Webb Space Telescope Operations Project Scientist at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland, said during a news conference held on March 16th. However, many other early targets for the observatory are public knowledge, during the news conference, Rigby confirmed that Webb's first year of science observations are already finalized. We've selected more than a full year of science, Rigby said. Those targets, those programs, have been fully specified. The computer files that tell Webb how to take the data, we have all those in hand. Rigby said NASA received more than a thousand research proposals from astronomers from all over the world and selected the best ones, including those looking for light from the first stars and galaxies that emerged in the universe only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. We will be seeing back in time to understand how galaxies like our Milky Way formed and then evolved over 13.7 billion years of cosmic time, she said adding that the $10 billion Webb Observatory will also study exoplanets, planets orbiting other stars than our Sun, and analyze their atmospheres. In an early interview, Olivia Jones, an astrophysicist at the Royal Observatory in Edinburgh, Scotland, stated that among the early targets the telescope will look at, the large and small Magellanic Cloud, two small galaxies at the outskirts of the Milky Way, Jones is involved in 12 different observation campaigns that will take place in Webb's first year of science operations. The first data I think I'll get is one of the star formation regions of the Magellanic Clouds called NGC 346, Jones said. This region is the continuous viewing zone of the James Webb Space Telescope, so that means it can be observed at any point. Jones also said that Webb will reveal the chemical composition of these galactic companions of our galaxy in unprecedented detail. Scientists know that both of these two small galaxies have significantly lower metal content than the Milky Way, which suggests their different chemical evolution. 
Later in the year, Jones said, the observations will focus on the Butterfly Nebula, a remnant of an exploded giant star located in the Milky Way some 3,800 light years away from Earth. But why do we have to wait so long for the first proper scientific images when the telescope's mirrors have already been aligned? Ness's Rigby explained in the news conference that during the mirror alignment, the engineers used only one of the telescope's four cutting-edge science instruments, the near-infrared camera or near-cam. The other three instruments, Rigby said, have been switched on but still need to be adjusted and aligned with the mirrors to produce images of the best scientific quality. We now have to align the telescope to all four of the science instruments, so every one of these four instruments is getting a crisp image," Rigby said. This aligning process will last until the end of June, with scientific observations expected to commence in early July. Only then will the world learn what the telescope will have seen when it first opened its eyes for real. In addition to investigating the wealth of planets outside of our own solar system, the observatory will peer back to some of the earliest galaxies that formed after the Big Bang, and the very structure of the universe itself. Webb will act as an infrared sleuth detecting light that is invisible to us and revealing otherwise hidden regions of space. Webb Telescope will look at every phase of cosmic history including the first glows after the Big Bang that created our universe, and the formation of the galaxies, stars, and planets that fill it today. Its capabilities will enable the observatory to answer questions about our own solar system and investigate faint signals from the first galaxies formed 13.5 billion years ago. We can currently see galaxies back to 500 million to 600 million years post Big Bang, nearly 13 billion years ago," said Marsha Reek, a Regents Professor of Astronomy at the University of Arizona's Stewart Observatory and Principal Investigator for the Near Infrared Camera on the Webb Telescope. So far, what scientists have observed from this time period looks similar to what we already understand. However, logic dictates that at some point during the first few hundred million years, these familiar-looking objects must have come from somewhere and evolved," Reek said. After all, galaxies don't spring up from nothing, virtually overnight. The infrared camera on Webb could reveal the faint first light from galaxies as they formed during the infancy of the universe. As the universe expands, these faraway galaxies are moving away from us so rapidly that their wavelengths of light become stretched out until the point that they are only faintly visible in infrared light," Reek said. Marsha Reek's husband, George Reek, a Regents Professor of Astronomy at the University of Arizona's Stewart Observatory, is also working on Webb as the science team lead for the telescope's mid-infrared instrument. This instrument will allow Webb to look even farther across the infrared spectrum. Each space telescope builds on the knowledge gained from the previous one. In the case of Webb, its mirror is nearly 60 times larger than previous space telescopes, including the retired Spitzer Space Telescope. The observatory also improves on the sensitivity and resolution of the Hubble Space Telescope. In addition, collecting infrared observations from space prevents interference created by heat from our planet and its atmosphere, as the spacecraft includes a five-layer sunshield that will unfurl to reach the size of a tennis court. It will protect Webb's giant mirror and instruments from the sun's heat because they need to be kept at a very frigid negative 370 degrees Fahrenheit to operate. This is really exciting that we're going to be looking at the things that were just completely out of reach before," George Reek said. Because key questions about the universe can be answered when scientists have access to data from different wavelengths of light. 
Excitement in astronomy in the last 70 years has been looking at different wavelengths, George Rieck said. Before that, all astronomy was done in optical or visible light, and looking at the universe in optical is like going to the symphony concert and only listening to one note. Now we've got the whole symphony. So observations by Webb could confirm or entirely upend predictions and ideas that scientists have had about the origin of the universe and how it evolved. The first questions which need answering is that scientists want to know how did we get here from the Big Bang? So understanding why distant galaxies are so different from those closer to our own Milky Way galaxy would help fill a critical knowledge gap. We have this 13.8 billion year story of the galaxy and we're missing a few key paragraphs in the first chapter of the story, said Amber Strawn, an astrophysicist and Webb Deputy Project Scientist for Communications at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland. What we're really trying to do here is figure out how to pull those pieces of the story together and learn more about that whole process. So, James Webb has already come a long way since its launch last year, and the spacecraft has billions of more miles to cover to reveal the secrets hidden deep in the universe. And if its first mission goes according to plan, scientists believe that they might not need a follow-up after this to study the universe. And this is it for today. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share your views with us in the comments below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space. And thank you for watching.